everybody. Welcome to the Victory For You Fitness Beachbody Coach Monthly Spotlight Interview. This month, the first month, Linda Morning is our Spotlight Coach for the month of March. So, hey, congratulations, Linda. I know it's a huge honor. I don't know if there's anyone you want to thank. I don't have a trophy, but, you know, whatever. So, no, I want to recognize coaches that I see that are out there, you know, really doing the work and and putting in the time. And it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be 40 hours a week, but just you're doing the work and you're putting in the time needed and you're doing things on your own to help grow your business. And I'm seeing that with you a ton these last few months where all of a sudden, hey Eric, I'm, do -do -do, I'm doing this, I'm starting this. Wow, cool, you know, because I, I don't have a ton of interaction with you. Right. But it doesn't mean just because I'm not interacting with you, you're not out doing things. So I, I love the independence that you've been showing with your coaching. And that is what I, I want guys to, everybody to hear about. So, but before we get into that, let's talk about Linda before Beachbody. Give us your, give us your story. Okay. Well, I was a busy mom and teacher and um, I, I believe about 15 years worth of just being busy and trying to be, um, you know, that super person that's taking care of everything, but um, definitely neglected myself and my health. And I, I think I just, I justified it in that, well, I'm always busy, you know, and I, I wouldn't say I was overweight per se, but I wasn't fit, I wasn't healthy. And um, I, I went to a few gyms and tried to do the, you know, 12 times per month where you swipe and you go and it just never worked out. I was always wasting my money. Um, I then purchased some home workout DVDs through Target and I thought, okay, this is better, but I wasn't um, dedicated to it. I wasn't consistent with it. Um, I am a thrift garage sale person and I happened to see a um, DVD Slim and Six. Debbie um, Sabers. Yep. And um, so I bought that and I thought, hey, Beachbody, you know, it kind of rang a bell, but I'm not a big TV person either, so I'm not, yeah, I don't have the infomercials mm -hmm. in my head, but I thought, oh, Beachbody. So I tried that and I really liked her. Um, started working out with my neighbor. She would come over in the morning and we'd work out with Debbie. And um, so that was good. But um, I, guess, I guess that's kind of where I was at. I was um, not consistent. I didn't have a plan and my life would take over. And I would always I remember saying, um, well, I have to, I'm too busy. I can't fit this in. There's, you know, I have all these other things to do with teaching and raising three kids. So that's kind of before. Before Beach Beachbody. Beachbody. Yes. So then you started doing Slim and Six yes. on your own still, right? You were yes, still kind of on your own? Yes, but very intermittently. Then tell me about kind of when you started to get involved more mm -hmm. in the, the Beachbody community, our community, what was your reaction to that? How did that help you? Okay, keep well, um, it was fall of 2013. Um, I had lost 10 pounds just on my own that summer, and I thought, um, actually it was a little more, 20 some pounds wow. dealing with a life situation, which was a healthy way to deal with that. You know, I was running and just going to some other mm -hmm. sporadic workouts, trying to work out at home. But then um, it was in November of 2013, I ran into Dave. Uh, he discovered through some of his posts that he was involved with Beachbody and I clicked like, oh, Beachbody, I have a DVD at home that I got at a garage sale. So we started talking <laughs> and he said, hey, there's a free workout on Saturday morning. And I, I just thought, free, what do you mean? There, there must be a catch. There must be a, there must be a catch. <laughs> but I um, gave it a try and it was just like the best thing ever in terms of having that regular time to work out, but more importantly, being meeting healthy minded people and connecting up with um, a support group and everybody just had the same goal, you know, and we would work out Saturday mornings and before I knew it, you know, friendships had developed and um, it was just a very nice supportive group of people that um, helped me, you know, kind of as I was starting out on my journey. Yeah. And then, so you, you had Slim and Six, you started going to Fit Club, got mm -hmm. into the community, started getting some support. Did you then move into other programs? Did you find a, didn't you start, what was the, what was your main, what was kind of your main program that you got into that you really um, dialed into? 
Well, after um, Christmas, it was the first of January, there was a diet bed going on. Yes. And then I had to make a decision. Um, for, well, I didn't have to, I wanted to, and yeah. I took a long time to decide because I, I thought, oh my goodness, the cost of this, and oh, you know, I, how can so I- So you had some reservations. Well, I did, but, just yeah. how could I invest that much money for me when I have all these other kid things or house stuff, and um, so, so- the struggle with making yourself a priority. Yeah, and saying, I'm it was worth very it. I'm real. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. And so I decided on T25, it was short, it had a 90 day calendar, and again, it was something I could focus on, I could um, take control of that. Maybe I can't take control of all this other chaos that's going on in my life, but I can control getting up in the morning, working out for 25 minutes, and yeah. I did that for the straight 90 days. Um, didn't miss a day, right? Didn't. So that was my first full calendar yeah. program, and yeah. I just... Loved the, the benefits, I felt strong and healthy and um, still not eating, you know, fully where I needed to be mm -hmm. by any means, um, emotional eating, mindless eating, yeah. but um, I, I proved to myself that I could be consistent with the workout and people started noticing, um, I think just in a, you know, you're confident and you're feeling strong and um, so you stuck with a program, did it every day, mm -hmm. and people started to notice. Right. Weird. <laughs> so like, if you do it every day, like they tell you, like that two twenty five. What is it? Five six. So you did it when they told yeah. you. <laughs> got results, and people noticed. You didn't just pick and choose Isn't when you did. Crazy. Weird. Uh, <laughs> so people started to notice. Yes, and then I would be raving about T twenty five, and. Um, then I would say, well, you must, you got to go see Dave. He yeah, can connect yeah. you up. So, yep. And after a while, Dave and you were kind of saying, have you ever thought about coaching? And what was your initial? So when we said, and Dave said, oh, coaching, you know, you're sending these people, they're coming to you. They obviously see inspiration in you. What yeah. was your initial response to us saying, Linda, coaching? Well, I kind of thought you were crazy. I just was like, what? No, I so you didn't see yourself as that fitness go-to? Not go -to. at all. Um, I'm not a business person is what I really got hung up on. Mm -hmm. Because I can, I <clears throat> was totally comfortable sharing how much I loved the programs, how much they were helping or benefiting me, but uh, I, I can't own a business. I am a teacher. I know nothing about a business. And so I kind of shoved it off a little bit and then... Um, Something switched, I guess, I don't know, in March of that year, I I decided to, but it took me a while. <laughs> Which in most people, it does. does. You know, right. you don't, you know, when I started out, I didn't feel like a fitness person. People mm -hmm. started asking me about things. And I was like, right. I'm, a, I'm a banker. I'm not a fitness person. That's right. a totally normal response. Yeah. But then you did take the leap. Yes, and I um, bought my last challenge pack, which was um, 21 Day Fix. Okay. And that's when the eating, the whole nutrition, balanced nutrition, just kind of <clears> came <throat> together. It didn't take me 21 days, it took me eight months, but <laughs> it got in my brain. And so, you know, I was writing down all my containers on a piece of paper, and then I found the app, which was wonderful. But um, now I can, um, I mentally go through, and it's like, ah, like last night, I didn't have enough of my veggies, and... Honestly, it just throws my whole day off when I'm not, <clears throat> excuse me, on track with my nutrition because then I um, tend to, to munch and eat stuff. That so those nutrition plans work too. I'm telling you. What? It's so the fitness world. <laughs> yeah. And you get results when you eat what they tell you. She's fun. <laughs> and, you know, she's, I just, I wish everyone would. Yeah. That's, a, that's another video. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Well, so that's great. So when you started coaching, would you say you were out front leading, banging away? What was your kind of initial interaction with coaching? How did you feel right away going into coaching? Yeah. Well, it was very awkward and, um, you know, I, I doubted it. Mm -hmm. And I actually talked with Dave about, you know, I really don't think this is right. I'm not, like, I was supposed to be, um, you know, first of all, sharing and then people would respond and then, um, it, it always was about sharing and helping others, but I thought, okay, financially, this is really not, I'm losing money on this situation, mm -hmm. but, um, he just kept saying, you know, I believe in you. This is really, this is something you should stick with it. And, um, so I did that and so you had those times of doubt. 
they times where time. yes. where the <laughs> work seemed to considerably outweigh the paycheck that came in on Thursday. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. And so, so you're like, oh, this is so you enjoyed what you were doing, but you weren't getting the benefit financially and weren't. Yes. Um, but you know, after um, well, summit I think was a turning point for me too, where I just it all kind of came together of what my purpose is, how I can help other people, and um, backing up to summer of 2014, um, Pio was big, came mm -hmm. out, and Shailene was saying at the end of the DVD, you know, you you must try a live class, and if um, there's not one in your area, be, become certified to teach one. And then I think just in my confidence, you know, I gained confidence and more secure with myself, I thought, why not? Googled it. There was one in Maplewood in September. So um, became certified to do that. And next week, I start my first class through Hudson Community Ed. So I'm very excited about that. So that's the things you've been, <laughs> that's the stuff that kind of really I wanted everybody to hear about recently. So you got your PIO certification. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to go lead PIO at Community Ed. What are the other things that you've been <laughs> up to lately? Um, well, I was thinking about mm -hmm. just the different ministries that are at church. My church, mm -hmm. my childhood church, I was baptized there. Oh, were you really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And um, just the need for people to um, kind of get locked into a healthy lifestyle and um, wanting to share my experience because really I'm a totally different person than I was before um, and I want others to be empowered and be supported and um, I want to help with accountability too but more so to give people hope that you know you don't have to um, live this way you know some people I think feel just trapped like mm -hmm. I'm so far from where I want to be, why even try, why even start, I can't do it, that, that can't, yeah. just um, controls them, and so um, hopefully soon we'll, I will be um, facilitating free workouts at my church, 8 a.m. on Saturday, so I can still come to Fit Club, awesome. of course, Good. and um, hoping to engage teens in that as well, so they could watch the children of the moms, because I just anticipate that's going to be one of the obstacles for people is yeah. I can't come because I have children yeah. in tow yeah. and um, just again to expose people to the um, potential of the daily workouts the meal plans um, and uh, and you also approached the church yes about the nonprofit aspect right, of that's each body that a lot piece, of people don't know about which feels really good to me because I don't want especially with the church if it can 25% goes back to the church of every sale. And so, um, and we don't want to emphasize um, the that piece at all. We want to just say, okay, this is a way to build community through faith and fitness and food. And then if somebody is wanting to, yeah, it'll benefit the church, which... Well, it's a great way to fundraise a little bit. You know, they don't exactly. have to, you know, go out and knock on doors and sell... Oh. You know, our equivalent of the Girl Scout cookie, the 21 Day Fix Challenge back in the mm -hmm. shape college. But if somebody wants that, people look to their church for guidance. That's why you're at church. Why not? Yeah, it's help more them, for help building them community. It's, and build community. It's support, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, pe uh, women, I think, feel isolated mm -hmm. at times where they're alone in their situation mm -hmm. or alone in. Feeling how they do about themselves but you know we're not all we all feel the same way and the more I talk to people and get to know people I just can relate you know I'm um, ditto <laughs> felt that way myself yeah. but when well, it just gives them a safe place it does and church is their safe place already so now mm -hmm. this will just be a natural extension of that and then hopefully our Facebook group and our and they can find these people that tell you there's really supportive people out there right, right? well and it um, it actually becoming involved with um, health and healthy lifestyle and fitness, it actually deepened my faith because um, I was able to just let go of a lot of the stuff and it simultaneously happened when mm -hmm. I got involved with Beachbody. Mm -hmm. And so that's what is even better. That's, <laughs> that's awesome. Good job. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thanks. I mean, the, this, the independence of going out and getting your PIO certification, 
approaching the church about doing a, a free workout and getting the church involved with health and fitness to give people that community. And then also talking to the church about the nonprofit. Those are three really big, scary steps mm -hmm. that you did all on your own independently without anyone saying, hey, you should go do this. And that, that to me is what coaching it really needs to be for people. You know, it's mm -hmm. easy to duplicate what someone else is doing all, all the time. And our business is built a lot on duplication, mm -hmm. but you still got to find your, your, your coaching group. Well, and I think that's where you're kind of finding your group. You know, you've hit the other big thing that I wanted to mention. If you have hit Success Club, how many months in a row now is it? Is this December, January, February? February three. March will be four. It will be four. It will that's be my goal four. To get five or ten every month. And I think the last two you've been ten, or has it been the last three? Um, I think it was just two. Two. Yeah. Well, still, success club five, then ten, then yeah. ten. Yeah. So you're out, you know, and this is another one of those, hey, wow, weird how it works. You're out doing things on your own, out approaching people. You mentioned to me um, uh, before we started about a gal at the insurance place that oh, you struck yeah. up a conversation well, we're with, We were talking right? about sugar. You were talking and, about sugar. Um, but I started by just asking how her journey was going because I knew she was focusing on water yeah. intake and trying to get a protein in with another type of shake but um and yeah she said it's just the sugar Linda and I'm like huh, I know because I love sugar and I my issue and I still kind of fall back on that once in a while is instead of oh this is going to come true today because Abigail said hey do you want to go to the cookie factory after school <laughs> and I'm like yes so my goal is to just have one cookie instead of three oh, wow. which is I, I don't know it's just a work in progress but anyway mm -hmm. So then I, I gave her my card um, and said, hey, check out the 20 So you have cards? I have cards. They're very handy. And um, yeah, and, but I want to step back, stop back today because... Um, so you talked to her and now you're going back. You're right, going back just today. because I want to share again about the containers and show her how it all works mm -hmm. and show her the cookbook. And um, I just, I feel... That's what I would do is just share, and if she chooses to go that route, that's great. I'll be their supporter, but yeah. um, ultimately, it's the that person's choice. And um, I I love the connecting with people part. Um, and sometimes when I'll post something, somebody random that I wouldn't have thought of will mm -hmm. like my thing yeah. or make a comment, and then I'll just touch base, and it you know develops into a conversation about health and fitness, and that's to me the beauty of it. Um, but the other thing I wanted to say about just coaching in general is that initially I felt a lot of pressure in terms of, well, this is what you have to do. And it, I'm not meaning that offensively mm -hmm. by any means, but I felt like I had to fit into this little box of yeah. how things had to be. And I then when I wasn't able to do that, still kind of in, I think part of it was my reality at the time. Like mm -hmm. I literally did not have time to, yeah. in, in my mind I was saying too that I didn't have the time, but... Um, that's when I felt like I was disappointing you and I was disappointing Dave and but again it was just that mindset because it was nothing you were doing to make me feel that was my own self-esteem mm -hmm. and my own guilt of oh Linda you're not good enough you're not doing yeah. what you're, sp you're supposed to be doing as a coach that's when I said well I don't think I should be doing yeah. this anymore yeah. but then once I let go of that and got more comfortable with doing things how was natural for me then that's when everything. Yeah. So you found. Up. So you know. You mentioned when we started talking about, you know, the business being the business, but right. I'm not a business person. Right. And you have now found your Linda way to be a coach and be a business person. But I still and it's have. Comfortable. I have all the strategies and the vital yeah. behaviors in. Yeah. Which well, is and that's the benefit a guide, of your and training. That's, and that's a guy. You know, it's anytime Beachbody offers coaching, we offer coaching. Mm -hmm. It's hey, here's some here's some That's guidelines. That's what works. Here's an here's an outline, and here's some here's some areas of focus, and you know, like the three divided behaviors. Here's some areas of focus and some things that you want to look at, and it's almost like a a, a topic. Right. But you go in and put in the details, and you, the details are your personal. Those are your personal details. So yeah. you've really done a great job at taking training, taking the information, and being like, okay. You know this this part doesn't work for me I'm gonna change this here I'm gonna change this there and you've become a business person mm -hmm. you've become Linda's version of a business right. person which is different than me and different than other coaches we all have our own businesses that's and nice. I think that's really that's important 
you know, there's the business is very much a business of duplication in the generic sense of the term. Right. But you've got to personalize it. You can't sit and be victory for you fitness, Eric, and do what I do and act goofy and do the dumb things that I do. It may not, it's probably not your personality. You know, you have your way of doing it and it's working. Mm -hmm. You know, it's working. That's why all of a sudden, bang, success club, success club, success yeah. club. Well, and I just think don't give up on your passion because it started with me feeling great about my own journey and now I'm empowering other people to start their own journey and my um, friend Laura, she jumped on board. We've been talking for months, so that's mm -hmm. the other thing too. It's not going to happen overnight. It takes a while. Yeah. It takes a while. Yeah. And it's helping me be accountable too because now I know that people are looking to me and so why would I jump off my own journey? I, and that, I need that yep. for myself. But um, she bought the 21 day fix, she um, bought the Shakeology, um, used the meal plan, she got a free cookbook for me because that was what I was sure. offering. But literally, she and her family of five are all on the meal plan to, wow. I mean, varying degrees. She and her teenage daughter are the, probably the most dedicated. Mm -hmm. But her husband's working out, even her fifth grader's working out, her teenage daughter, teenage son, and she has lost 13 pounds well, now she started again, so she's on round two. Four weeks, 13 pounds. She showed me her wedding band. It's loose. That's awesome. So she has to go get it adjusted. That's and she awesome. is just so, um, you know, happy and um, feeling empowered yeah. that this was what they needed as a family. To just eat healthy, stay active. And she was cute. She's like, well, I'm not going to post any selfies, Linda. You will not get me to post selfies. And now she's posting her little <laughs> And I have a private little group to just make uh -huh. that comfortable uh -huh. for people because they're not ready yeah. Yeah. or maybe they'll never want to do that. Yeah. And that's totally fine. But yeah, I love that's it. Great. So now she's... See, and, and, and that's what you getting excited and being passionate about telling the story of the people. That's what you need to hold on to as coaches when we have oh, those weeks of... Totally. Dang, or those weeks of rank drop, or those weeks of really bad commission checks when you, you know, that stuff all is all gonna come. You know, the, the, that'll come from the fact that you have passion and energy and excitement for helping people. Well, and just and to be see authentic. That you, yeah, and you can see that when you tell a story, you're like, I'm so excited, that's all I get. And that's where you gotta realize, this is why I'm down this road, is to help these people, this this business side of it's a byproduct of it, I wanna work on mm -hmm, that, but exactly. this is it. And those, the coaches who really feed on the helping others and the passion for that, are the coaches who are gonna stick with it and, and succeed. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it takes us, some of us longer to rank up than it does others and all that sort of stuff, but in the end, it's about who you help. Well, and it's a mutual relationship too because there are times when I am like, you know, I still have mm -hmm. these. And it helps you stay on track. It does, so. and for somebody to message me, you're such an inspiration. I mean, it's like, mm -hmm. I needed that as much as you needed my help, you know? <laughs> I think that saying, all the time. Oh, yeah. you know? So, yes. Well, great. Well, I am super appreciative of all the hard work you've done. I think you're doing just a phenomenal job. And I love, again, the independence that you've shown in these last few months going out and crushing it. And it's it's coming forward in your success club points and everything else. So keep mm -hmm. up the great work. You are the spotlight coach of March. The, the, <laughs> the president and the cars out in the driveway, your free yeah. car, you know, all that sort of good stuff. And, uh, yeah, I just, I'm really, really proud of you. Great Thank job. Thank you right. very much. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye, guys. See you later. See ya.